driving force for our company is about making uh, extreme power solutions to basically forward the dreams of uh, people's imagination. From things like the Martin Jetpack, uh, which I think is used on the, on the cover of SolidWorks on the 2015 edition, uh, through to things like uh, generator sets for all sorts of applications across the world. So we started off um, making paramotors, which are backpack aircraft, and the essence of the company was really about having fun. It was about trying to make products that would allow people to have fun and, and go and enjoy flight. Uh, and so my business partner and founder of the company, Gilo, um, started creating these paramotors, and one of the paramotors he created was the Fly of Everest uh, with, a, with a chap called Bear Grylls, and they did that on a Discovery Channel program. Um, and it just so happened that that engine they created for, for doing that um, documentary was what most of the aviation industry was looking for. And so that spawned this new company called Rotron, and that was really the start of the growth of Jar Industries Group. The unique features of our products are uh, high power to weight ratio, they're an extreme propulsion system. Um, we supply propulsion systems for um, any number of applications, but they're just very power dense. Um, there's, not, there's no radial vibration from them, so they're somewhere between a piston engine and a turbine engine. The concept started um, in SolidWorks as a 3D design, and then um, it takes us all the way through that process, right through to the manufacturing. It's very much the fundamentals of what we do. We really started moving into buying SolidWorks about four years ago um, and now I think we've got uh, 11 seats in Rotron and, and several different seats across different companies from our flying car to Parajet um, and the research companies and we were, at the time we were using AutoCAD. It was slightly chaotic but the packages that SolidWorks had like for example the EDPM system, it future proofed us in the way we could drop um, bombs that were all uh, traceable throughout the whole system into our MRP system. System, it allowed us to move forward uh, and really create a system that was then AS9100 and, and so we could be certified for the types of Boeing, uh, Lockheed Martin, who need that kind of certification case on their, on their um, design work. The PDM system is invaluable to us. Um, it's part of our ISO compliancy that we have PDM. It controls all of the drawings and all of the models, so it helps us check revisions and keep track of any changes that we do throughout the design process. And if you have the likes of Boeing coming in to audit you, they want to see it produced in a second. So that is a real time saver. They haven't got to go way through files and files of paperwork. You can press one button and they can get the full audit trail for the design work. I think there's lots of business successes we can uh, contribute to to SolidWorks in terms of for us to go out and tender for work. We can throw together concepts very quickly and it allows us to be very flexible um, and go out and win contracts that we otherwise wouldn't have had. We can actually visualise what we want to sell and, and for that reason it's very good. It definitely allows you to do things that possibly on paper you're not really getting a real scale of things so you can see tolerances much more easily. It definitely reduces the risk of error. The major challenge is, is it comes down to test, and this is where FMEA, where the different stress analysis processes in sort of works actually saved a lot of time. It's definitely driven down test costs. The simulation is vital to us now. Um, the, the modeling and simulation of um, rotary engines is very, very difficult. The dynamics and the, the heat that's going through the actual engines. For example, the shaft, we've done a lot of work on that recently and we've got more longevity out of it. So we've given ourselves a better advantage over our competitors in the that our engines are now more durable. SolidWorks has definitely had an impact on our competitive advantage across the market. We need to make our components really lightweight um, and so we can use the FEA facilities to pair back the design as much as possible. We use the interaction to the machine shop to be able to machine parts very quickly, which is really useful for R&D and development type projects. Composer is fantastic for doing um, build manuals and operations manuals because you can take the direct CAD data, uh, use those images to create build sheets, um, which is just such a great aid for the uh, assembly technicians on the floor. We're starting to use uh, Composer for our live um, production and the more flexibility you have in production, the faster you can produce, the less expensive it is to produce the product. Solid solutions have been proactive. For example, implementation of our PDM software is incredibly complex and that needs constant change and development as we've gone through and developed our process and we found that help uh, is essential. The reseller's been fantastic support for us both in terms of offering training 
um, and the telephone support. Being able to come in and demonstrate something like the um, uh, flow simulation package just so that we can kind of get a good understanding of how the benefits of that will really apply to us. The future for the business is that we're really growing. Uh, we've got lots of contracts that we're going to be meeting in the next few years. The SolidWorks is going to enable us to um, to deliver those projects really quickly. I mean, I have to say every day is a school day with SolidWorks because there's always new tricks to learn with it. Uh, there's so much functionality. Yeah, it's a fantastic package.